Before we get started, the name of the management company is Simone Development Company. That's billionaire, rich landlords calling up all these agencies to harass me. The name of the trunking company was New Holland Transport. And the only way they would have known about that delivery or that the meat was coming at that time was if someone from New Holland Transport, the trucking company, tipped them off. Those were the jerk-offs that uh, pissed me off two weeks ago, didn't show up for the pickup, said they don't want to do business with me. Then they decided to, and then instead, <laughs> and then they, they, oh, they're big bad boys call, calling the meat inspector on a small business trying to provide healthy products for people. So I came down to my warehouse last night after my two flights to see what happened and my cameras were off on my phone because I can monitor my business you know remotely and you know it wasn't working so the only reason the cameras wouldn't be working is if someone turned them off so I'm gonna show you guys pictures of what it looked like when I came in so they put a search warrant on the computer screen they unplugged the computer they unplugged the security cameras so when the inspectors came in here, they knew what they were doing was wrong. They knew the search warrant was unjustified. And when proven in court, that means that whatever was found during the inspection, whatever, it, it's all void. It's all null and void. So very, very suspicious, very ridiculous that the first thing they did when they came into my business is unplugged all the security cameras and all the footage. So we're going to see if we can recover that. I don't know. And guys, this isn't like a little, oh, they just came in. No, this is bad. They... They seized product under the Federal Meat Inspection Act, which allows them to basically come in and do whatever they want, which is, which is completely ridiculous. So this is freeze-dried bovine powder. For some reason, they detained it, even though this is not being sold as meat for human consumption. This is probably about $15,000 worth of bovine powder. Very, very expensive. And they just seized it. They have, no, they have no justification. They don't know what this is. They have zero proof. I've been buying it or selling it from anyone they just came in and slapped the label on it because it's me i don't think the eggs are regulated so i'm pretty sure they were unable to do anything about that that's the nice thing about poultry and eggs is that um, they're not able to uh to mess with it and then this is all the meat that came in from the butcher the hot dogs the sausage u.s detained 1500 pounds of assorted meat products apparently it's, it's for dog food so I don't know if the Federal Meat Inspection Act applies to pet food. And they seized my caviar, my salmon roe too, even though I buy this from a local distributor in New York. I don't know why these food department cocksuckers want to jerk themselves off so hard. These USDA cocksuckers said they're coming back here at 9.30, but it's 10.15, so I don't know if these cowards are going to show up. But My name is Governor. I'm an investigator with the USDA. Yeah. Yeah, I was the one you spoke Milo. to this morning. Yeah, you guys called me up. You wanted to talk about my let you want to see my invoices from the last six months, right? Yeah, so the meeting today is just to explain what happened. So we can explain yeah, yeah, the yeah. reason for the detention, what's going on, the issues, answer any questions you have. Yeah, I got some paperwork ready. What? That put the search warrant on my computer downstairs. I don't know. You don't know. We'll put this on my computer downstairs and unplug the security camera. They did. You did it. No one touched your computer. No one touched my. No one unplugged the computer and no one unplugged the security cameras. But when I came in yesterday, they were unplugged. Really? You guys are a bunch of fucking comedians. I'm. I'm. I can smell the ocean air in Colombia right now. You fucking lunatics. Do you mind if I record moving forward? No, sir. I can record. You can end the meeting right here if you want. You want to end the meeting? Yes. All right. You have my email. You have my phone number. Right. Products are detained under the Federal Meat Inspection Act. So whenever you want to resolve the issue, hopefully within ten days, I hope to get a response from you about what you want to do with the product. Right. Here are your records. So when these guys came in yesterday, they came in, police officer unplugged the computer downstairs and the security cameras, and those two guys with the masks on, that actually just put their masks on right now, are the USDA inspectors that are, are telling me I can't sell certain products. But, but this is completely ridiculous. They showed up with, you know, 
two USDA inspectors, one guy's training, and there's only one cop there now, but they showed up with like four police officers earlier, and they right. wouldn't enter the building Sheriff. without four police officers. Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh. So basically they came in, they're, they're busting my balls about the sausage and charcuterie products that came in yesterday. I told them it's being sold as pet food and dog food. They're saying the product is misbranded because it did not leave the facility labeled as pet food and dog food. So that, that's their, their, their argument is that since the, the butcher and the person that sent me the product was not labeled as not for human consumption, pet food, dog food, whatever, that it's misbranded. They're saying that the other product that's in the freezer is marked as not for sale, but it's, there's no record of it. And the thing is, none of those products in the freezer that they're busting my balls about have never been sold or have never been for sale on the website. And then the freeze-dried beef powder downstairs that we have for the supplement company and stuff, they're saying they're not sure if it was inspected or not. So at this point, they're just harassing me and busting my balls. So I, I don't really care at this point. It's just too much nonsense.